Y'all, please keep this man, this king in your prayers. This is 30-year-old Sacramento activist, Defonte Clark. He had a heart attack. Now he's in the hospital and he's going to be okay, but he's going to have to lay down just for a little bit, y'all. He started a group called I Am Sac when his brother, Stephon Clark, was unalived by the Sacramento police. And he has been working diligently ever since, okay? His family has a history of heart disease. He also said depression, anxiety, lack of sleep. That is not good for your cardiac care as well. There he is with lawyer activist Ben Crump. Right so you guys keep him in your prayers. I, I, I fainted, I blacked out, I passed out. I had a minor concussion, a minor heart attack. My um, my heart speed, my heart rate um, is off rhythm. Clark says he was diagnosed with atrial fibrillation, or AFib. It's a serious form of irregular heartbeat that can lead to strokes, blood clots, or heart attacks. So even though I'm very young, I have a heart of like a 60-year-old. Um, and that's due to many, many, many reasons. But I just want to let you guys know that self-care is the best form of health care can't take care of nobody if you don't take care of yourself. A 2023 American Heart Association report finds that approximately every 40 seconds, someone has a heart attack in the U.S. And that's why Clark's grandmother says it's important to know your family history. Like I told the nurse, I said, well, it runs in our family. We have all that heart, you know, disease. I, I even had three open heart surgery. And my mom, and it's, it's just run through our whole entire family. Outside of family history, American Heart Association President Dr. Michelle Albert says the body's biological reaction to stress, anxiety, and other types of poor mental health can manifest physically through an irregular heart rate or rhythm, increased blood pressure, weight gain, and inflammation throughout the body. When we are anxious, or when we're depressed, when we don't get enough sleep, all of these things tie in not only to our mental health, but also our cardiovascular health. Clark started a community action group, the I Am Sac Foundation, after his brother, Stefan Clark, was shot and killed by Sacramento police in his grandmother's backyard back in 2018. Clark says his work with the foundation must continue. We're going to continue to do it. We're just going to be more strategic and smarter about it because we don't want to end up back in the hospital. And um, I just want to thank the Sacramento, the entire community of Sacramento for their thoughts and prayers, too. Clark says he expects to be released late Thursday night with a heart monitor, and we are certainly wishing him a speedy recovery.